Now the umbrella. I'm using 190 on this. Now normally I say don't use red with anything underneath it. But this is an exception to the rule. On top of that, just a spot of 118. Now that's the reason I said that we wanted the 190, the 118 would be just a little bit brighter. Yeah. Now inside there, I'm going to use 225 because we want it to be just a little stronger. And if we're lucky, we can go around the little characters. I've lost the lady here, so we'll just assume her face comes around there. This is great fun, but it, it's a, a bit tricky. And she's also got a hat on, so we'll allow for that too. Try to do her in silhouette. relatively well there maybe just a little bit smaller that on and also the 118 will go in here too but because it's we've used a darker color it means it's going to be just a little stronger got it now you don't have to follow me you can do your own thing but I think it looks pretty good now on the top I'm going to use a little bit of pink, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it so that it gives us a spine that just happens to coincide. With that, there we are. Now that's probably as best I can do. I've got a a 118 in here so I might just try to pop just a little bit of 118 just in there and accentuate those spines a little bit with an impressionist picture you can't really do much more than that but that's going to look pretty good when we finish now what about the dresses well I think what we'll do here, we'll make the lady here in a yellow, bright yellow dress. And then what we can do with that is we can just put a little touch of 184 on as well, because that will just put variation. Let's put our hand down there, and so we'll, we'll have a little pink hand resting on the side of the boat. Okay, now a hat. I think we'll have a white hat again. I, I tend to favour white hats, so that's a little bit, that's a little bit too blunt. I tend to favour white hats because you can do lots and lots of things with white. Like, for instance, we can have now uh, a blue, a dark blue. Oh no, that's like the lady, isn't it? Can't have that. Okay, well, we'll have a dark green one then, in that case. And um, if I can find the green that I want, here it is. This is 267 green. Well, that looks pretty. And she'll have also a little bit of colour. A little bit of pink in there. And a little spot of darker pink as well, with just a hint of hair, just a hint, that's all we need, excellent, and I think we'll use a little bit of white here just to bring our hand in, and a little more ochre, like that, I don't think we can do it anymore, I mean you're pushing your luck if you start fiddling too much with it. And the lady here, well guess what, she's going to have a white hat on as well. And 
she'll have a, um, you know, she can't have a red band. I think she can have a blue band though. We'll go on her like that. There we are. Now her dress is going to be blue. So we'll put her. Now we'll have to do some fancy work here, folks, because she is sitting very comfortably, lounging in the. And so we'll have to do a little bit of white maybe down here on the front. And we'll have to do a little bit of dark blue. Just giving some. In fact, if we put a little bit of white in there, you can see what you can do, folks. You can just fiddle about until something happens. When it does, it's great. If it doesn't, you keep at it until it does. An arm coming there, say, and that's where. Oh, that looks good. We'll have the. Now it's almost a shame to put her face in there, but we've got to do it. A bit of pink, a bit of darker pink in there as well. I'm not going to produce any. Oh, I think we'll have to have a dark here. I'm not going to produce any eyes or eyebrows. But there we are now. We have the hair like that. I think I've done a good job of that. Now we can then use the red just to close in a little bit on the hat, which I think looks great. And you remember your close up on this. If when I pull back in a minute, I'm looking for the red. Uh, that's going to look quite spectacular. Like that. And I think we can just possibly close in on that hat too. Makes it a little bit more. And the other thing is, of course, it's going to have, just in case, in fact, that's not going to work. We, it may not be necessary to do it. Well, actually, yeah, it did work. It did work. Uh, uh, but I think I'm going to make it just a little stronger. So it'll be a 181 in there. And that's suggesting that the lady is holding it now. We can bring it down to there. We can then put a little hand on it. So she's now... holding the umbrella. Whew. Put another hand down here on her lap. Now, you might think, well, why do you talk like that, Colin? But if I was doing a picture on my own, with not with you or not around, I wouldn't talk out loud, but I would certainly talk. Oh, look at that. Quite amazing, isn't it? Just a little spot. If I'm being really picky here, uh, I'm going to use just a little touch of depth under there. Yes, I was saying I would definitely t um, talk to myself. I find that that does just putting the hair on the other side of that coming out of there. Okay. Um, it's not easy doing this and talking to you at the same time, though, I tell you. But there we are, I've managed it. Do I want to do any more? I don't really think I do. I think I'm going to call it a day there and um, I think I finish chatting on about what I would do when I talk to myself but it, I do do that because by talking to yourself you can then get the I'm just putting that 
in there like that. And that looks lovely. Is you can get the 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 right feel, the right vibes and along there. I think that looks really stunning. Now, from from where you're st sitting there, it probably doesn't. But I'm going to pull away now, and you will see that that does look very impressionistic. And then we've got this chap. This chap looks like a chance, doesn't he? There, but it's not. It's a lady. So we'll we'll sort her out next. <laughs> 